Well, hey folks, PC7 here. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks very much for dropping by today. Hope you're all doing well. It is, uh, well, it's the end of Sunday, I guess, by now. So I hope everybody had a good weekend. For my American friends, of course, it was a long weekend, I guess. Um, today we're doing some harvesting. This is too cool. I, I, <laughs> the way this thing unfolds, check out the header on this thing, man. I don't know. There's something just so rhythmic about that. It's even cool when it closes. Da -da 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 -da. There we go. That's that's just yeah. Anyway, we've got uh, we've got a lot to do today. It is the last day of fall, almost 9 a.m. So we're a little bit of a late start here today. Ah, beautiful. I'm a new. Uh, because we have so much stuffage to do. You really think you need all those lights on, do you? Oh, alright. I'm gonna hire up a worker here. And, uh, you... are going to be the one tending this worker. I've temporarily turned the traffic off because, uh, well... I got my big harvester stuck trying to get it back to the next field because of traffic. Yeah, basically a car got between the uh, the edge of a bridge and the harvester and I couldn't get past it and of course it's not like the cars will back out of your way man once they're there by guppies they are there for good you know. So, I thought well I can beat you. So I just turn traffic off. Now when we get back to that harvester, it should be free and clear. So literally. Indeed, last day of autumn, eh? A chilly, chilly 7 degrees Celsius outside. For any of you wondering how that translates to Fahrenheit, it's cold. Winter jacket stuff. Alrighty, here we go. There you are, do a really good job. Uh, what else we got? Do, 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 do. See, this is where that, there it is, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know why he managed to get it. Oh yeah, I am well over the line, I see. But no, he drove right up to like the ladder. I couldn't move, he couldn't move, and then he just sat there and honked his horn at me like, Well, it's your fault, move! I'm like, it's not my fault, you tuna. But, yeah. Alright, anyway. <laughs> He's got a little bit of barley in him because our tractor and trailer that was hauling our barley for us filled its complete 40 thou and then had to move on. Now, <laughs> according to my good friend Oldman, this uh, clover, you feed it to the bees. Now, of course, being the butt that I am, I quickly pointed out, well, actually, bees don't eat clover, man. They suck the nectar out of the flowers. <laughs> but uh, that's okay, because apparently there's a bonus here, and that is... It's going to leave grass swaths behind. Uh-huh. How's that for super-duper? I think it's pretty good. All right. Nope. There you go. Folded that up. Now, of course, I can't actually start because, well, we have barley. So let's find our way back to the farm. That'll do. And this should now be empty. Now, our critters are doing good, but I think we need to sell a few off. Uh, specifically, pigs and maybe chickens. I think those are both maybe a little long in the tooth, as it were. Um, our piggies, we've already made our breeding achievement. Um, but I'm pretty sure that there's like 193 freaking pigs in there now. And some of them are getting pretty hefty. We could probably make a bucklet or two if we sold some. I know we've got lots of money, but again, that's that... Thingy. 
yeah, I know, I'm expressive. It makes you wonder. Eh? I've been speaking English for like, I don't know, 57 years or something. Oh, I'll get the hang of it one of these days. All right, let's get this guy emptied. I gotta pick up all that lovely straw. These fields, yeah, we're gonna bail heck on them. And then further stuff we will uh, deal with in other manners. I.e. we'll pick it up the forage wagon. But for now, we need to get that harvester started. Yeah, we're making like 60k a night, eh? And even with everything we've got going on, we're not spending near that, so... It's a bit overcompensative. Yeah, it's a little bit of drive to get there because there's the field, but mm-hmm. It's like some of those terrible British maps. <laughs> yes, there's only one way on and off of this field, even if you can drive all the way around it. Uh-oh, our corn dude is almost full. We're barely going to make it over to this dude. Wow. Must be a good crop of corn. Oh, and uh, as well, important to note, here we are, the very last day of fall. Tomorrow, no more harvests. Nothing is actually beyond this yellow stage. So, I guess with seasons, it just doesn't. I don't know. Because let's face it, nothing's going to get any riper. Tomorrow, it dies. It doesn't get better. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there is no better anymore. Okay. Now, I'm not going to have time to run this all the way back, per se. But... Yeah, there's no other way on or off this field except that little bridge. It's completely surrounded by water. Mm -hmm. oh. Excellent. All right. <clears throat> now, did that just come up and tell me they have a full grain tank? Man, that did not take long, eh? All right, well, we're going to have to get you started. Um, yeah, as a hired worker effort here. Let's just make sure that you are going to make swath. You are. All right. Well, hire up and do your best, buddy. I just want to see this thing spit grass out the back. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that cool? Look at that. <laughs> Lovely. All right. This is another field, just like the, um, oh, what do you call that stuff, sour gum there, that uh, I bought in this condition, i.e. it was this type of a field. What do we get? Well, there's 6,100 liters there. That's certainly worth something to us, isn't it? So let's get it uh, to the farm, and then we'll go and deal with our other harvester, because time's a-wasting. Still got to pay these people, whether they're working or sitting. You know how that goes. So... I was thinking with some of the distances we need to cover, it might be worth investing in one of those torqueless JCBs, but this guy does 53. If I remember right, the only ones, the, the one that's actually big enough to haul anything of quality only does 60. So, yeah, I don't know that that's 7K granted over a long stretch of time. It may save us a moment or two, but yeah, an awful lot of moments to add up to a $200,000 tractor. Not that we don't have the money to spend, you understand, but, you know, 
I'm sure we'll find things to spend it on. I have a feeling uh, that Oldman hasn't yet thrown at us all of the factories that he's going to, and they tend to cost a little bit of money. Now, luckily, we've bought enough property we will have spaces, so... <laughs> My poor poplar hedgerows. Here I'm picturing these beautiful long row of poplars lining my fields and every opportunity I get I smash as many of them as I can yeah it's just sad all right Oh, you did empty it. Okay. Never mind. All right, there you are, eh? Oh, and you're the wrong way around, aren't you? Bloody hell. No. Oh. Release the worker. All right. Seven eighths, nine tenths, whatever. Yeah. Corn me now. All right, we don't need your beacons. We don't actually need your lights either. Good heavens! You're telling me it ain't bright enough to see out there? Are you wearing your sunglasses again? No, you took them off. Okay, well... Oh, well, that's me sitting in there. That's why. We'll see when we hire the worker if they're wearing those stupid, dark sunglasses. You know, no, well, no wonder you think you need your headlights on, dopey. All right, there we go. Don't know why I was worried about the... Uh, Header getting into the crop, it's not going to destroy crop if it ain't turned on. Well, does that look about right? I guess, eh? Alrighty, worker. Do your thing. Mm, well, it worked. It wasn't quite where he was be <coughs> Where he was before. Puh. Good God, Nat. Alright, let's go see what the other part of the... Oh, I could have done right there. It would have been fine, eh? Anything else close? You're close enough. You're... Hep. Hep. <laughs> now there's an issue. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Alright. Let's head over to Cloverfield and see what's going on there. Hopefully no big monsters. Now, I do have a bee house thing somewhere. We'll have to go looking for it. Because I guess it's going to want some of this here clover. Uh -huh. But we'll figure that out. I'm sure we can store it in the silo, and then when we find our bee house, we can start it producicating. Now, I know you got to get bees, too. Because, well, I mean, you know. I would have thought putting them in the middle of a field of clover would have done the trip, but no, apparently you got to harvest it and then feed it to them. These are omnivorous bees. Or maybe they're just herbivores, who knows. I mean, there's carnivorous wasps, why not herbivore bees? Herbivorous? Who knows? Carnivore, carnivore, yeah, maybe. Herbivorous, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, 
biology was never my strong suit. Just ask my ex three wives. Oh, burn. <laughs> oh, crap, I just burned myself. All right, we're almost there. So, which is a good thing because apparently left to my own devices, I'm pretty much an idiot. Okay, where are we here? Hello, harvesting thing? Hello? I don't see him. What did he sneak off to lunch or something? It's only nine in the morning. Man, it's a long drive along this field. Maybe another one of these things would be full after a row. Oh, wait, 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 there it is. And it's probably at a dead stop waiting for me to show up, actually. Alrighty. We're almost there. Here we are. You're still going. Okay. So you're only almost ready, eh? Geez, are you gonna finish the row? Give us a break? Probably not, huh? That would be too nice. Yeah, I do like that fuel mod. Oh, really? Yep. Oh, man. I was so hoping he'd get to the end of it and turn around, but... New. New, new, new. Oh, look. It's a pretty funny looking thing to have gotten out of there. Considering that uh, it should be like purple or red. Um. Oh, right. Just gotta get rid of the hired worker. I'm like, it won't go. Yeah. There we go. Clover me now. Roll me over in the clover, do it again. <laughs> oh, we were such pigs in the Navy. Anyway, a sip of my nice cold coffee. Oh, Billy. It's oddly enough, it's not as bad with oat milk if it gets cold as it was with uh, coffee creamer. Yeah, when coffee with coffee creamer gets cold, it gets pretty freaking disgusting. Stuff gets kind of waxy. All right, worker, work. Work, 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 work. That's the ticket. He's... That's nice, eh? Completely dust-free. <laughs> All right. So, just about there, aren't you? So, oh, good God. You'd be the wrong way over again, too, aren't you? Every single time. Oh. Mm -hmm. Really, 18,000. That uh, harvester's got a big hopper on it, eh? Ah, yeah, there you go. Oh, dang. You'd think once it would stop in the right place. All right. Mm 
All right, get out. Really? That'll do, I'm not fussy. See ya. Okay, this shouldn't be running. But it is. Okay. That's what I needed to know. Well, that's what we needed to know. <laughs> How are you doing? You got a ways to go, don't you? Lovely. Alright, well. Then. Let's go and do some things. Mm hmm. Hmm. All right. <clears throat> Chickens. Okay, you guys. Nothing, hey? Eh? Two dollar, three dollar, four dollar, five. Six. And then they go back down again. female. She's a half a year old. And then there's the male that's a half a year old. Hmm. So... Okay, so the one kilo ones, yeah, the two kilo, hmm, it's really hard to say. See, it's not consistent that, like, okay, do all the three kilo ones are no longer producing eggs? Well, only some of them aren't. Oh, I don't know. There really needs to be more information on what age they should reach, etc., etc., you know? At least for me, because, I don't know, I'm really dumb and I haven't figured it out yet, I guess. Let's go see how we do with the piggies. Although I think I'd really rather be able to haul them by hand. The chickens, it doesn't matter, right? Because you can't truck chickens for some reason. But, and pigs you can. I'm pretty sure we've got our share of uh, upscale pigs here that are ready for market. I mean, ready to go live on the big pig farm. <clears throat> yeah. Still got straw, I'm amazed. Are you refilling this? Not a lot, eh? Okay.
see these guys are starting to be worth some money not nearly what we pay for them which I think is kind of weird but 500 600 1.7 years eh? see I wish it gave you the fertility thing here as well you know what I mean so I'd know if these were like pregnant or ready to go or what so okay those are the big guys the Yorkshires these ones Berkshires at 578 but only a couple oh those are the males I see the females aren't worth as much eh? hmm point four years I mean we should be doing it by age I think but I would have thought at some point see 1.7 here eh? okay let's go with wow there's a lot of them that age isn't there okay Forty-four of them. Holy smokes, $24,000. So 44, that's going to be like three trailers full. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's certainly something to consider. I don't know that we actually have a trailer, do we? Let's have a look. Garagey. I don't think we do, to be honest with you. Bum, 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 bum. In that's a big no, we do not. Oh yeah, all of our belts. Okay, now we're getting into buildings. So, hmm. Animals, animals. Oh no, we need animal transport, don't we? Yeah, it's a different thing. It's a different thing, man. It's under here. All right, there we are. Animal transports. So, who takes the most pigs? You? You'll take uh, 21 pieces, so that's at least two trips. You'll take 36 pieces, it's still two trips. Hmm. But you take more cows. Really? You take more cows, but less of anything else. All right, well, I guess we buy this guy. Um, nothing to fancy up on it? Yes, please. Okay. All right, let's go check on our uh, dudes. And then... Yeah, that's kind of what I thought was going on. Then we can worry about hauling piggies. Ooh, we're almost to the end of the episode, actually. So, let's see how... How much more of this we can carry. Oh, we can get a couple more loads from him. That's great. Ooh, he's even stopped the right way out. I'm so impressed. 
Look at that, just like a big boy harvester. Okay. That will do it, sir. Awesome. How are we doing with the other set? Hello. Full two, are you? Alright. Let's swing your boat. Well, we might as well just drive you over there and empty you out, I guess. Right. There you go. Oh. Well, this may not quite go as planned. I don't think he's going to take all of it. Hmm, he's going to take more of it than I thought he was. Wow. Ah, uh, that's it, eh? Alright. Alright. Well, you might as well go back and do what you do. Because i got to get a vehicle out here to unload that into. There you go. Ooh, I almost started that too far over. Good man. All right. So I guess, guys, what we're going to do is we're going to call it there. I do hope everybody enjoyed the episode. Well, let me know what you think in the comments down below. And, uh, well, as I say, we shall carry on the next time. So there you be. Enjoy the new week coming up. We'll talk to you next time. And take care of each other, folks. Ciao for now.